Hi there, Miss Locke's class. Uh, so my name is Jason Harlow. I'm Zainab's dad. And my grandfather was named E.B. Cox. He was a sculptor. This is a book about him. Um, this is one of his sculptures, a great big uh, limestone thing. And there's a picture of him in there. That's my granddad. So, and actually one of his sculptures is right here. He used to make lots of stuff. He made a lot of little things too. So this is a little, I don't know if you can really see it there, it's a little bird. Um, and it's carved out of rock. And so what you would do is you take a rock that's maybe about this big and you just chip away at the rock. And what he said would say is that you take away everything uh, you, that doesn't look like a bird. And then what remains is like the bird that was within. So, and here's another uh, stone uh, sculpture. This one's carved out of uh, pink alabaster. We're gonna try to do something like that with a piece of ivory soap. So there is ivory soap. So the soap's what we're gonna carve, and then various knives. So I don't want you to use a sharp knife. Um, a butter knife is, is perfect. It's very, uh, very easy to, to cut this soap, um, as you can see. Uh, uh, you can also use even a paper clip if you wanna try to make a little hole in it or something. Um, I'm gonna make a hole in the middle actually, I think, using the, the paper clip. And you want some paper underneath because you're gonna end up making a lot of little chips of soap. And you wanna carve it into something. And I've got an idea of what I wanna to carve today, which I'll tell you in a minute. Um, the other thing is that if your butter knife has a serrated edge with lots of little lines in it, then those lines are going to end up in your sculpture and it's not going to look too good. So I think you really want a flat edge uh, butter knife if you can find one around. Okay, so one more thing. <laughs> uh, so the whole idea with sculpture is that it's three dimensions. And, you know, there's a lot of artists that get very famous for two-dimensional art, right, which is painting. Um, and you, and uh, so what E.B. used to talk about a lot was depth and this idea that you can, that the other side of something always exists. And uh, depending on your perspective on the uh, piece of art, you have sort of infinite ways of looking at it. That's the main thing about um about 3D versus 2D. With 2D, you just make one perspective on what you're looking at, but with 3D, you have to kind of consider the, um, the other side all the time. But there's also kind of cool tricks. For example, a surface in two dimensions uh, always has two sides, the front and the back. But it is possible in three dimensions to have a surface with only one side. It's called a Mobius strip. So what I want to do is make a Mobius strip today out of soap. So you can make a model of a Mobius strip uh, with a piece of paper, cut out a little strip. So you have a piece of paper and then you make it into a loop, but you give it a twist. Actually, it's a little too thick. Make it a little more thin. Kind of needs to be a long, narrow strip of paper. You give it one twist and then take a piece of tape tape it. So what you've got is a piece of paper that if you run your finger along it only has one side. Let's put it down here actually so you can see it. Oh. Um, so as you run your finger along you end up on the other side. It's one smoothly connected surface. So if you painted it both sides are the same side. There's not two sides. So that's kind of cool. And I was able to actually carve it out of a piece of soap. So this is a piece of soap carved into a Mobius strip. It took me a little while. I had to get it kind of smooth. And there was a lot of extra soap. But you get the basic idea, right? You kind of carve it out. And one of the things that I was doing was I was using my model to try to help me, you know, figure it out. And I had to cut out a middle part. And it just goes on and on. We can try to make another one here. And just try to imitate the actual shape you've got. And so sometimes, you know, I start with this side, try to make it more like the Mobius strip you're trying to make. And then if you want to do the other side, I kind of flip the model and flip the, the soap as well. 
Okay, so there's sort of this this thing going on there, which is that surface right there. I want to make that surface, right? And then there's some kind of twist that's happening in there. So I want to try to make the twist. And like I say, it gets a little messy. And I could maybe flip it like this, try to keep it oriented so that you can get that kind of Mobius strip thing. So when you're carving, it's very important not to cut yourself. That's probably the most important rule. So, um, now these are, you really don't need a sharp knife at all to do, to carve soap. So use obviously a, a very, a very dull knife in the first place. Um, but if you're carving wood or something, if you have a very sharp knife, uh, a good rule, uh, which I saw my grandfather always do, is that you always cut away from your, from your body. That should be um, sort of a habit for you. You don't cut towards yourself because if it slips, you, know, you, you end up cutting your own self. So you push, you push your blade away from your body. anything as you're cutting um, you know a big chunk comes off there's really nothing that you can do <laughs> except kind of change what you're trying to create so it's art right so um, you know what you end up creating in the end is is your choice so every artist that I've ever known who makes a mistake in their art will try or attempt to kind of work that mistake into what they're doing somehow. So what I've got here is a Mobius strip, this is my second one, and um, it looks a little rough, and so I'm at a point where I kind of want to smooth it out. So don't forget, this is soap, right? So if you get it wet, it'll kind of melt. So what I'm gonna do is take a paper towel and put some water on it, just a little bit, get this wet, and I can kind of polish the sculpture um, using the wet paper towel, you end up with really, really clean hands <laughs> when you do this project. But again, you got to be really careful that you don't break um, your sculpture when you're, yeah. when you're polishing it. You, you had that problem, Raj? There's pulleys going on in the background there. Because <laughs> this is yesterday. Okay, or this is Wednesday. Okay, and so as I sort of rub it with the wet uh, uh, paper towel really carefully, the whole thing gets kind of smooth and nice. And lastly, uh, one thing that you can do is you can take acrylic paint and you can paint them. And so that can be a fun thing to do. You can paint onto soap. And the paint also, if you use uh, that sort of a, a tube acrylic paint, um, it will help preserve this so that it doesn't leave soap marks where you put it or something and and it stays what it is for a very long time. What are you making, Raj? A whale. Ooh, he's making a whale. Okay, that's good. Okay, so it turned out to not be as easy as I thought it was going to be to paint this thing in acrylic, but there's my, <laughs> my Mobius strip still drying. My whale's kind of... I think it's because my acrylic paints are a little old. But hopefully when that dries up, It'll give kind of a nice um, exterior finish to, to my stuff.